Hi everyone! Welcome to Zigma Print Shop. Today I'm going to show you how to reformat HP laptop, especially latest models with Windows 10 operating system. So watch! Before we proceed with the reformat, you need to prepare a bootable flash drive. So at this time, we already have a bootable flash drive. All I need to do is to insert it in the laptop. Okay. Then, just press the power button. Then, press the escape key simultaneously so that we'll be able to go to the startup menu choose F10 file setup ok, ito na tayo first thing that we need to change is the TPM device so we need to clear it first yes then we need to disable the TPM state also don't forget to change change this to disable the entire software guard extension then change the TPM device to hidden ok so we're done with this area we're going to proceed to the boot options first thing that we need to do in the boot option is to enable the legacy support enable yes Okay, then we have nothing to change here. Let's go to escape and then exit saving changes. Just use the ROP and enter. Yes. Okay, this time you need to press the F9 button. Okay. Now you can see a message here. Operating system boot mode change. So we need to follow the instruction. We just need to type the digits shown here kakaiba tayo ng makikita so, maybe sa laptop nyo iba rin na mag-appear so ito lang po susundan ba natin then press enter to complete the change so 5665 enter press 5665 5665 then enter ok <coughs> ok Another message again, disable Intel software guard extension. So, follow the numbers again, 4148, 4148, and enter again. Okay, so, we're now here in the boot manager. Ibig nito, papipili niya na tayo kung ano yung gusto nang natin na i-boot this moment, ang gusto kong i-boot is yung flash drive, syempre. Upang ito yung maglo-load dyan sa system ng laptop natin. At, maaari na tayong makapag-reformat. So, just use the arrow key. Then, choose USB hard drive UFI. Toshiba USB drive Toshiba. Kasi Toshiba yung pangalan na eh. Hindi sa mga kung anong gagamitin nyo na USB, hindi nyo bipiliin ninyo. Okay? Then, press enter. Okay, just wait for a few seconds. Until Windows 10 will show up. Okay. 
Okay, here is it. So by default, naka English na talaga yan. All you have to do is click next. And click install now. The setup is starting. Just accept the license terms and click next again. Okay, you need to choose custom install Windows only. Yan, nakikita na nyo na po lahat ng mga partitions. Ito yung mga partitions na available sa mga hard drive na reinstall dito sa laptop. All you, all you just to do is to delete. Purahin po natin lahat. Nakikita natin na partition. Isa-isa. Delete. Wala tayong titira. Okay. This time, Isa na lang yung allocated space. So, just click new. Then, apply. Kung gusto nyo may dalawang partitions, pwede naman i-divide. Pero, para sa akin, mas okay na isa na lang. Okay. Sweet for few seconds. Then, yung nakikita nyo na primary, yun po yung isa-select ninyo. Then, click next. Okay. Yan, nagsimula na. Ibig sabihin, medyo malapit-lapit na tayo sa katotohanan na matapos ang ating reformat. Just wait hanggang maging 100% yan. Hanggang matapos siya. Sa so finishing up. Yun, 1% na siya.
have to do now is to set up the settings the personal settings for this laptop Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, you can just mute your PC. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. Okay, enough intro, let's dig in. Your region is set to the United States. Is so that right? We're going to the Philippines. Yes. Your keyboard is set to US. Want to okay. stick with that? Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Just type what you want to name your account. Okay, now type a password for your account. Okay, you can like to the password, you can just click next. These are the settings Microsoft recommends. Go ahead and review them, and select accept when you're ready. Okay, it's up to you kung ano yung magus nyo naka on. For me, I would like to disable. Then accept.
it's done yun tapos na po as you can see everything is clean ito nyo po na all of the applications are done all you have to do now is install the applications like microsoft office chrome everything that you need so for now maybe you can download the applications like chrome over the internet microsoft office you can use the crack version if you want or maybe you can buy the license microsoft office ganun lang po kadali mga thank you for watching